What's up, Wolf Packers? It's your homeboy, still in the quarantine. Wolfie, Wolf Doggy Dog, call me whatever you want to call me. Um, seven days. Been seven days since uh, we are self imposed uh, quarantine. Uh, it's been seven days since uh, Disneyland closed down. So that's that's kind of that never happens. It happened like three times before. It happened uh, uh, when Kennedy was assassinated. When uh, they had an earthquake, a pretty big earthquake in uh, like ninety four, ninety five, and then nine eleven. So they shut down those three times. Three three different days they shut down, and now they're they've been down for seven. So you know. Uh, where you leave a comment if you were planning a trip leave a comment if you're a, leave a like if you're a, a uh annual pass holder uh we were for quite a quite a long time we used to go no lie like once a month for about two years straight and uh it got pretty expensive today today we're going to be reviewing storm storm and more storm check that out optical illusion so we got a throwback storm and her variant all right guys so we are on day seven of self-imposed quarantine uh not everyone in the country apparently is uh is on quarantine but yeah it's it's a self-imposed thing you can leave if you want to uh, a lot of people are staying in leaving for just the uh the essentials um yeah leave a leave a comment if if that's you leave it's it's friday what, what do you uh you guys got plans for going out tonight you guys uh gonna netflix and chill some people are leaving some people are going out and doing things so um you know it's it's up to you how how you want to live it it's your life live your life um my sister actually canceled her my my nephew's uh third birthday party we were gonna attend that one but we're still getting them uh don't baby jay we, we got some blasters coming your way so pew 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 if you're all about that element of surprise like I am, these are the glasses that you want to have on hand. They're a great price point of $9.99. Uh, yeah, we got some micro blasters for them. So uh, if they come in on time, maybe we can check them out, uh, you know, check them out on the box and stuff like that because it, it's a gift. So I'm not going to open it. But yeah, if, if they come before his birthday, uh, I'll, I'll put them up here. Moving on. So we're going to take our blade that's sharp. Uh, showed this the other day, too. Uh, keep your keep your blades sharp in these in these trying times, guys. That's all. That's all you can do is keep your blade sharp. Um, we're gonna cut along the edge as close as you can to the cardboard. That's if that's if you want to preserve this. It's pretty cool fan art. I, I like it. Uh, reminds me of the Toy Biz era ones from like the early to mid '90s. Um, so if you want to save them, you can. If if you want to just rip into it, be my guest too. We've also got Iceman. Now these two came from the same wave. Um, they were, it's a six figure wave. We didn't get everyone in the wave. We didn't get Silver Samurai. We didn't get Dazzler. Cause uh, they, I'm, I'm, I wasn't crazy about those. I wasn't crazy about this entire wave. This is probably one of my least favorite Wolverines. I still like him, but he's one of my least favorite. Dazzler, we have the Disco Dazzler. Iceman, I've got the uh, the one that came with the Juggernaut wave. So we might, you know what? Let, let's let's open this guy up too, and then we'll we'll compare him to the Iceman from the Juggernaut Wave and see which one is a better one to fit the my '90s diorama because he's obviously built like uh, '80s. So he could he could definitely join Spider-Man and his Amazing Friends. Uh, you'd need a fire starter, but yeah. He's he's de he's definitely in that, but he's definitely an '80s. And then the the one for the Juggernaut wave was definitely a '90s era or even now. But uh, we'll we'll compare them and see which one's better, and then we'll compare to see if either of these is gonna bump out the storm that came in the Apocalypse wave. So uh, right now I got the the storm from the Apocalypse wave. Uh, let's compare and see if these are better. Leave a comment if you think either of these can bump out um, the storm from the Apocalypse wave. Uh, these are kind of uh in the animated series she had a it was similar to this it was actually gray her uh her costume and then in, in the night when the comics she used this too so some people were like oh i like her in black well i like her in white it was like well what about me i like her in gray so there we are blend them together one becomes two all right guys let's get these guys in the studio and we'll chop this one up
deuces. All right, guys, before I take you to the studio, let's check out the diorama in question. There's been a few updates since the last time we did it. Uh, we've got a new Colossus from the Juggernaut 2 pack set. Jean Grey is an updated Jean Grey now from the three pack Love Triangle, Wolverine, Cyclops, and Jean Grey. Uh, I believe we added Beast to that mix from the uh, Caliban wave, and also Jubilee came out of that wave. So there's been some some additions. Uh, Nightcrawler, as you guys just saw, was from the Windigo wave, and then the Wolverine on the left is from the uh, Love Triangle. Back in the studio, guys, and if you made your cuts correctly, your figure should do something like this. And if it didn't, don't you worry. I'm going to show you guys how to get it done. So when done, it should look just like this. Pull out the new instructions that come with the uh, 2020s. This is kind of just a waste of paper. No one reads this. Everyone's just, bah. We got these guys out of the box. Bobby Drake, one of the original X-Men, and Storm. Uh, she didn't come into the fold until uh, early 70s, I want to say. It was uh, Giant Size X-Men number one was when she made her first appearance, along with Colossus and Nightcrawler and Wolverines and the such. Comment below what you think, guys. You saw the diorama. Let me know. Do you think one of these storms, the uh, animated series storms, will bump off Mohawk Storm? What about the Iceman that came with the Juggernaut Wave? Will this one be putting them on ice? Normally, I'd let the ladies go first, but Bobby Drake, come on down. Studio light, help me out. So... First off, what's on everybody's mind, right? Uh, he looks more like the Silver Surfer than Iceman. Yeah, that, that's true. Um, I've seen some really nice mods with this figure. So I know that there can be work done, but yeah, it totally looks like Silver Surfer. It's a really good body mold, though. It's He's got the butterfly mold. It's not. It's like a Spider-Man mold, but it's... It's more like the uh, the Sunfire. Sunfire had the same articulation. Uh, we just got uh, Johnny Storm. Similar articulation. I think they, they might even be the same exact body mold. Put your arms down, Johnny. Come on. What do you guys think? Well, look at his cold, dead eyes. Uh, on this particular figure, I think they're uh, too close together, so it looks kind of beady-eyed. And then I've got like a slit going right down the middle on it. So, yeah, it kind of throws it off. He's he's a, he's a better Silver Surfer, I think, than uh, Iceman. Which kind of ticks me off because I missed that wave. I didn't jump on. I didn't. Those were, that was a Walgreens exclusive for the last Silver Surfer. So if I could do it again, I'd probably get that one. Okay, so he's got the ab crunch, no side to side swivel, that kind of sucks. Thigh rotation is tight, you can loosen it up, so he's got them on both. Well, that's pretty tight, I don't want to break it. Double jointed, calf rotation, ankle up and down. So this is a really good mold. This is one of the best molds that they have. Some variations of it, sometimes they make the, uh, the Wolverine body out of this mold. So kicks out that far. Do the splits that far, so yeah, I can go all the way, all the way back. Kiss his own his own guns if he wanted to. All right, QC wise, I talked about the face, how it's just oddly contorted, and the coloring on it. So you just look at those cold, dead eyes. It's just ugh. Uh, there's inconsistencies all over with the coloring in the plastic. We go from a more metallic to a purple mantle uh different different tones from here to there different tones from the thigh to the inner thigh um and then just the belt it it stands out like really bad the skull's a different tone as the torso so yeah 
the coloring is all off so i mean definitely check out those mods that they have for the paint schemes on this guy that being said it's a really good body mold and i like this accessory i think this accessory is going to go better with the other uh ice man so if nothing else you got us a really good accessory ice man now go join Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Aurora Monroe, come on down. All right, so here are the two lovely ladies in question. Uh, shot for shot, body mold of one another. Head swaps are kind of pointless. No, this one's got, a, there's a little blue tint in the hair. Entire mold, exactly the same. So for review sake, Let's see, we'll go white. All right, the accessories have been removed. Now let's check out the figure. Let's go QC really quick. Uh, box warped. She looks like she uh, she got into it with some monsters and they broke her fingers to teach her a lesson. But yeah, I'm fairly certain we can, we can fix that. If not, it's probably still better than any molds that Hasbro gives us. They gives us the Hasbro gives us the same two molds every time. Uh, let's talk about the cape. It's kind of it's a very thin plastic. It feels like it might tear on. If I, I'm gonna be real careful with this thing with both figures, uh, same material. But yeah, it's really thin. I wouldn't say it's cheaply made, but it's just thin. And since we got her from this position, you can pop you can pop these off, which was real cool in the show. They would press the button or they would press it on there. On their on their bodies on their person and it would uh that's how they communicate with each other well in this case it pops off same thing can be done on this side drop the plate these two things hook onto the shoulders and then the hands pop off so there it is it comes off it's still very cool looking but sometimes you might want to take it off for the sake of our articulation, let's skip past the whole busted fingers, you owe the mob some money type thing. Um, up and down, like you saw, these are removable. Uh, without these, she looks kind of funny in the shoulders. They look a little thin. So, yep. Yeah. And then what I like is that they made the... She's wearing sleeves. They made the sleeves baggy, which she did in the comics, in the show. Uh, let's see. You can kick forward that much. No kick back. Splits that far, upper diaphragm, no side to side, thigh rotation, double jointed at the knees, up and down, no heel, just like the flat, almost like a fake sneaker, single jointed elbows, even though they gave us big bulky ones, and they're not particularly good. And then the, the wrist is really tight, but it's also got a house that slips in through the peg. And then, like I said, these two pop in to here and here. Pretty good looking figure, I gotta say. And it's a welcome addition to the storms. Let's do a quick head swap, see what this storm will look like. Bro, I'm not even gonna lie to you, that's kind of dope. That is kind of dope. That's tight. Minus the busted up fingers. That's pretty tight. You want to know what's even tighter than that? Check this out. Ugh. That's, that's dope right there. Nice head swap. I like it. She's like the bad storm. Like she got hit with a potion or something and now she's bad. I like them bad. You might be able to take the jacket off. I'm not positive. It looks like she's got like just a... She's wearing a tube top all the way around. So... Yeah, she's got this real cool belt that I like. I like when the belts kind of just hang from the hip. I don't know. It's, it seems like sassy to me. Like, ooh, girl, you're so sassy. But yeah, this is a really good sculpt. I want to see what she's going to look like with the mohawk. Let's check it out. Check that out, guys. That's actually pretty dope, too. Wind Rider. Let's get these girls up on a uh, flight stand. See what kind of poses we can come up with. All right, these are my flight stand ladies. You guys comment below. Tell me what you guys think. Who deserves to be in the X-Men Danger Room diorama? Comment below.
All right, debate time. Who deserves to make it on the Iceman diorama? Is it Bobby Drake from the 1980s? Or is it the more updated version? You guys decide. What do you think? Well, for sure. He's going to pull the whole... See, this one's got an open hand. He's got kind of ice features. Translucent. Um, look, look at that face mold. Stop in the name. <laughs> uh, check out that face mold, right? It's cold and lifeless, but he's got way more character than, say, this guy. This guy looks like Ryan Reynolds' as Deadpool. Alright, so, the winner is... Board jacking, y'all. And the winner of the storm contest is Apocalypse Wave Hulk. Gosh, it looks way better this way. Way better than the Mohawk. Sorry, but the queen stays the queen. Way better. This almost looks like a custom figure. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Leave us a like if you like this one. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Share this with the homies. Everybody's on lockdown, so you might as well just share it. Coming up in future episodes, we've got a walkthrough for Mortal Kombat. We got some uh, new skins out, so turn on notifications if you want to check that out. We'll probably be doing that tomorrow. And then we've also got an influencer box to open up. So if you guys are interested in checking out that one, that will probably be the next day. All right, guys, be safe out there. Take care of each other. Deuces.